the chat. Yeah, we're looking good. I've just been for a joke. So I've just been for a joke, so... <clears throat> Forgive me for showing a little excessive skin. Maybe being a little unkempt, unkempt of hair. I don't know if anyone's watching or if anyone's going to watch, but... Uh, I'm heading out to dinner and some drinks tonight. Ah, uh, Goldie! What is RS6Y? Asmo and uh, Axe are meant to be stopping by in a second. Oh no! What were you streaming? What's RS6Y? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me you were streaming? I was just, I was out for a jog actually, so. Three viewers? Yeah, that feels pretty good. I currently have zero viewers according to my Twitch, so. I'm just trying to squeeze in about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes before I uh, have to get ready and head out. I don't know. I, I think I followed you. Did I follow you? So, But I don't think... No, I think I have it set to give me alerts, but that my Twitch has to be open, right, for me to actually receive alerts, so... Uh, one second. Damn, I missed out on that soft, sultry southern accent. Hold on one second, one second. I'm just have to set, fix my internet. Okay, so I haven't played EU4 before. Is it any good? Is it the type of game that I would enjoy? It's a 4X game, right? Is it? Or do I have no idea what I'm talking about? Yo, Esmo, you're here. X should be here soon, shortly at least, I think, so. Alright. I need to remember what I'm doing now. Yeah, I really enjoyed Civilization 2 a long, long time ago. I never got into it like a lot of people did. I played a little bit of the recent Civilization, which, yeah, it seemed pretty fun. I enjoyed that. But otherwise... Uh, I haven't actually played that much Forex, but I think it's a game I would really enjoy. What's meant to be the top Forex game at the moment? It's meant to be like a Civilization, but maybe it was made by an indie de developer. That's really weird. Maybe it's just our connections we can't watch. It's just the Australian way, perhaps. My files. I haven't had to look at my files once. Okay. And what is the difference between Civ and EU4? Europa Universalis? Is that what it's called? Alright, I think I got everything I need. So you guys didn't watch yesterday, so I actually went through some pretty cool portions of the game. But I did discover one extremely frustrating puzzle in which there, the, the game didn't actually give you enough clues. It gave you some clues, and I figured out the gist of it, but there was a specific order that you had to go in to solve the puzzle, and it didn't give any clues to that, so it basically just left everyone to trial and error. And Which could be okay if it's just like a non-essential item that I picked up in there, but it feels like it was an essential item. But other than that, most of that part of the game is cool. There were some cool sequences, some cool puzzles. A um, couple of things that were immersion breaking, but overall, still pretty fun. Ah, I went the wrong way again.
And now I'm actually up to a pretty tough part of the game. I've died. I've actually died a couple of times. Hey, four viewers. Welcome to the stream, viewers. Just a quick one today, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, I should be able to get in, or wherever the nearest uh, save point is to that. I think I'm progressing pretty far in the game. I was actually truly surprised at how robust uh, this part, this training facility has been. It was obviously meant to mirror the police station and the mansion from Resident Evil 2 and 1, respectively, but it's not quite on the same level, but it's been surprisingly robust. And it's been quite diverse in how it's been quite open as compared to, say, maybe the start of this game or Resident Evil 4 3. Alright, so let's get moving here. Hello, I'm playing games. What is all this? What are you wearing? Where did these clothes come from? You've been shopping? I don't know. You look pretty radical. Yeah, so what's the big difference between Civ and U EU4? Yo. So, basically I already know where I'm going here. The room to my right literally had nothing in there. There was some environmental storytelling and one of those bad dudes. Uh, so this, is, this room also has very little in there except for some nice atmosphere. I think it's also if there truly is nothing in these rooms, I think that's actually a good thing. And it's playing on the meta scares that this game, that most Resident Evil games incorporate, in that every room you walk into, it builds tension because you don't know what it is. The camera angles don't allow you to see everything. And then you see like your reflection in the, the window and you don't know if something's gonna jump through. But So actually from like a game theory point of view, if the game wants to, continue being as tense, it kind of needs to have some rooms in which actually nothing comes out, so that'll lower your expectations when you go into other rooms. <laughs> this is obviously alluding to Resident Evil 1, where she has to play the piano to solve the puzzle. Not very well, mind you. Yeah, so I think there's nothing in this room. And there was nothing in that room below me there. You'll see, I haven't explored it, but I did yesterday. And I took a lot of health and used a lot of bullets. So you... you no, you can, drop, you can drop everything out of your inventory, I think. So you'll also notice that for the, probably the first time in a long time, I have both full health and a lot of ammunition. But yesterday, I walked into that room below me, that you can see on the map here, and that was that, that really creepy looking dude. Oh, that's cool, Goldie. Sorry, I couldn't catch your stream. So anyway, yeah, that room below me. So I basically used more than half of all my ammunition and was down to basically danger and a yellow caution on each of my characters after just shooting at that guy for a while. So, and there was act actually nothing in there other than the fact that it was, it's just sort of showing... Okay, the interesting thing about that room is it's filled with video and surveillance equipment, and so that's obviously where the uh, ominous bad guys were earlier, but it, it's also in stark... Oh! It seemed like a trap. It's also in stark contrast to the most of the rest of the facility, where like you click on things and it says you can't read these these books because they're so old, and they're basically rotted and deteriorated. So there's kind of a contrast there between that room, which has brand new equipment and has recently been used, and the rest of the training facility. So that's interesting. Yeah, so Goldie, what is the difference between EU and Civilization? And why would I like EU better if I would? 
Oh, this gun shoots way faster. I feel like I don't need to kill this guy, I can just perpetually run around him. Oh well, he's dead now, so... Hello, white light, white, white live matter. Uh, are you just a troll who comes into uh, streams and yells white power or what? Sorry, I'm reading what Total Goldfish has to say. Oh, really? Wow. So how does that impact the actual game itself? Could I watch one of your VODs? Maybe I'll just watch, I'll watch your VOD. I'll check it out. Shotgun shells, hello. Actually the shotgun in this is kind of shit. If there's only shotgun shells, it feels like it's not worth it to have killed those two zombies. Alright, so I need a vice handle to get another stone tablet. Okay, cool. Alright, I'll look into it. To be honest, I'd really love to play a game like that. I, I, I enjoy those types of games. I, it's turn-based, right? So, obviously I'm a, I'm a former poker player, so which is a turn-based strategy game in itself, so... I enjoy turn-based strategy games. I used to love playing Risk. Which is kind of like civilization light, I suppose. That's oh, real time. Oh wow. Oh, what's that on the wall? Literally nothing. It's like the most intriguing thing I've seen, and I can't actually read it. Can't believe you're streaming that and not Final Fantasy VII, man. Come on now, get a grip. Where are your priorities? Oh, did White Live Matter leave already? Oh yes, health spray. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good. Um. Oh, red herb. That also feels good, but I've used all my green herbs. Is that a zombie, or is that just her footsteps echoing mine? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm really worried that there's going to be too much lag on the stream again. And I'm, I'd be happy to watch your VODs and stuff, but I'd really love to interact. So this is more showing how old and decrepit the environment is, which goes in contrast of the security room, which is obviously all in working order, but you guys didn't see that, unless you watch yesterday's VOD. But I'm also down for 11 a.m. So last time you started FF7 about 11 a.m. on my time. So yeah, I'm down for the same time again. I'll need to leave for work about 2.30 though, so I'm going to do two and a half hours. What do you mean? You kind of feel bad for not talking about the game I'm playing? What do you, what do you mean by that? Or you feel bad for not talking about the game you're playing, like as you play it. 
I don't think you need to. I, don't, I think most streamers don't do that. I think I'm just really talkative, dude. I, I basically have a stream of consciousness that I just spew out and I keep it going. I don't know. Do, do people? Most people talk about the game they're playing. I don't know. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, you don't need to talk. I'm... Oh shit! Oh, she got hit. Okay. Uh... You don't need to talk about it. I'm happy just... I don't think this game's going to go for that much longer. Oh, yeah, these guys are badass. Am I going to die now? Oh. Okay, well, there goes my health spray. <sighs> yeah, I guess if you guys aren't big Resident Evil fans, or that knowledgeable about it, it's not much to talk about. You don't even have to watch it if you, if you don't find it interesting. That's cool. I'll be on to Metal Gear Solid next. I just... I've, I'm both enjoying playing this and... I don't know, it's a little experiment to see if like a new game that came out, I can get some viewers. Plus, yeah, so I like it. So I have to be at least over halfway. I, I, I have no idea how much more there is to go there. Ugh. I just took a lot of damage. I'm not really happy about that. Totally forgot those guys were there waiting for me. And as soon as I came out, they hit me every time. Yeah, the HD remake is new. Yeah, so I thought maybe it would have some... We, we all thought maybe there would be some hype behind it. We were also kind of interested in playing it, so... We put it on. I don't know how many viewers other streamers are getting though. Also, it's yeah, I know, I'm happy to play it, but because I enjoy it, I love the classic Resident Evil style. So, sometimes it's just so tense to play. All right, so I'm out the front door now for the first time. <laughs> There's been a few. I don't know if you're being sarcastic. But I feel like there's been more insanely giant monsters. Or has there only been two? There's only been two so far. But this game, I mean, the insanely giant monsters... For me, that's not what the bread and butter of the game is about. Alright, so I need a battery and I need a handle for... Um, a vice. This game, okay, so this game is mostly about the atmosphere and the tension and no, I don't know, it's hard to describe. I think they're just the staple monsters. And I love the way, at least in the early games, they mixed it up by having the zombies first and then eventually the zombies were replaced by the much more mobile monsters, which sort of kept the second half of the games fresh when you were backtracking. Alright, so outside literally just has nothing except for set piece. So I need to put the battery in there. Resident Evil 2 had the crocodile. Resident Evil 1 had sharks. Yeah, it had a giant shark. Yeah. Yeah, but the crocodile in Resident Evil 2 was, I mean, it was cool to have like one of them, and because there was multiple ways to kill it, you could you know, blow up the um, the cylinders of gas, or you know, you could literally just kill it. All right, so where do I need to go now? And I loved how that affected the second character's playthrough. You could see if the first character blew up the gas cylinders, that would be recorded, and the gas cylinders wouldn't be there on your playthrough. So that was cool. Um, okay. Oh, so I need to go all the way there. So I need to go that way up those stairs. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my uh, hub room. Oh, this is this is my new. You can only another floor of this game is you can only have a certain amount of things dropped on the floor in any one room for some reason. So I'm gonna drop some things.
So basically, I think the game, the most important things in this game for the for what it is are, I guess, the camera angles and art and visual style, the music especially and sound effects, and I think just the design of the environment. This game is more about the environment than, than anything else. And the atmosphere. Uh, I'm looking for a bottle. Oh, it's in the other room. Okay, off to the other room I go. Also, for the first time in this game, they've introduced enemies where the, the cost-effectiveness of killing them has been skewed. So what I mean is, now that I've got these leech-covered enemies, I'm now incentivized to not kill them. I'm incentivized to run around them, whereas the rest of the game has created very linear pathways where, where I'm basically forced to kill zombies. And there's no repercussions, like the zombies don't come back. As crimson heads or anything like that, it's just, you kill the zombies. And it's going to be more cost effective to have done so. I don't know whether I should keep my first aid spray. Alright, five slots. Let's hope that's enough. Oh, it went the wrong way. Yeah, oh, you need to. Because I think you'll just run out of... So, yeah, especially the remake because if you kill them and you don't have something to finish them off then they come back as crimson heads which are just the most terrifying enemy in the game but there was always at least the option of maybe not you know you could kill them or not they both had oh they could both be uh, they're both defensible options and this well, well there's an option there there was an example of when I could run away but most of the rooms have been so enclosed that it's just you're forced to shoot them. And I think that's just a bad way of incentivizing combat. The same thing, this is what I talk about with uh, Tekken 7, Asmo, in that they've nerfed movement to the point where you're forced to just stand in front of each other and throw moves, and it just totally reduces the strategic nuance of it. So this is locked. Now, now I'm thoroughly confused because I now have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I've been into every room. Maybe down there? So how do I get there? How do I get to B1? Oh, okay.
So I need a battery, a crank handle, and two tablets. And obviously the, the vice, not, not a crank handle, the vice handle will give me one tablet. Ah, it's locked. Oops, I won. You! These things move so creepily. Very good, Goldie. Very good. Hey, the crows are gone. I think I killed them all. Can I just jump down? Alright. Oh, man. Ooh, these things are back. Oh, I really hate these things. Oh, I've got to go down somehow. Oh, how do I go down? I can't go down. Oh, shit. Maybe I'm just going to die now. What's this on the wall? Nothing. Okay, so this was just an unmitigated disaster, basically. She's on the ground. Okay, so everything that just happened in the last 30 minutes was a disaster. This game's actually really hard on hard difficulty. Okay, so the new plan is take just one character. I feel like that's a reference to something like Starship Troopers, and I don't get it. Oh. Oh. Goldie. Why you gotta be like that? Why do you have to ruin my day like that? Oh, really, Asmund? Yeah. That's cool. You guys don't have to watch. I'm happy to just play. I'll finish this game and then I'll move on to something else. <sighs> oh, you mean 30 seconds or so? Or 30 minutes or so? 30 days, perhaps? I'll be back in a month. Um. Fucking Undertale again. Hey, I played... Oh, you were there. You asked me to play... I was going to say, hey, I played Undertale the other night, but that was at your behest anyway. This game's alright. I'm kind of teetering around 7 out of 10. It's just it's just a very obvious step down from Undertale and Shadow of the Colossus. But this game's decent. Am I going the oh, I went the completely wrong way? Alright, so I need to find my way toward basement one. But I have no idea how to get there. Fuck. I might just have to look up. If, if this doesn't work out, I'm just going to look up how to progress. I don't care. I don't care. I want to at least achieve some progression in the hour that I play today. There's a ladder in this room somewhere? I don't remember. Over here? Huh. Then I just figured it out. 
I really hope there's nothing down there. Ah, okay. No, you you don't have to. You can talk about whatever you want. You don't even have to watch, but if you if you want to watch and see what it's like, and then ah, uh, this is where I started. This is how I got into this room. Well, what else you want to talk about, Buildy? Ah, okay, so there's actually nothing here. This is where I started. This is where the train crashed and... I just can't walk into the flames. Alright, I'm gonna have to look up how to progress. Ooh, what does that sound? I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna look up how to progress. Trying to find some kind of walkthrough. It's also really difficult to play these type of games while I'm chatting. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it sounds like it's worse in your room. I mean, in your stream. And I couldn't even connect to your stream, and I have no idea why. I connect to high quality streams all the time. Axe, you made it. You made it just in time to see me, my failure, because I need to look up. I also, okay, you missed me dying, but I also need to look up a walkthrough because right now I have no idea what to do next. Yeah, I'm going to the walkthrough. You guys chat amongst yourselves. Goldie feels bad because he has nothing to contribute to a Resident Evil chat. Uh. Bug Chow. I was Bug... No, uh, Rebecca was Bug Chow. I was Bug Chow, as in... Goodbye, or whatever. Shut up. Okay. <sighs> okay. Black Wing, Black Wing, Black Statue, Angel Statue, Angel Wings, Basement, Lock Key, Duralium Case... Right, I'm just looking up the walkthrough. Ah. Oh, this was a really obscure puzzle that just went down that I that I wasn't aware of. Okay, so so if you'll remember, X, that yesterday when I was playing. Hey, stop booing me, guys. No, there's, there has been no lab yet. Alright, so actually, you remember yesterday I was playing and I got to that room where the piano is. And I was about to play it, so I played it earlier. And with Rebecca, because I remember from Resident Evil 1, she could play the piano somewhat. Oh, I need to go upstairs, fuck. I guarantee you this one doesn't have a lab. Alright, so I just read in the walkthrough that actually, because when I play it, 
with her, she's actually quite bad, but Billy's the one who can actually play the piano, so th that's actually kind of interesting. But there's no real environmental reason for me to suspect, suspect that Billy's meant to play the piano. That's, um, so that seems a little bit obscure, and that opens up options. I think it, it might calm the zombies down or something like that. Um, let me just equip some guns first. And there was a battery. The battery that I was looking for, um, Goldie, is actually in one of those rooms, apparently. I just missed it. Uh. Yeah. It really has a lab, Goldie? Shit. Why do they always have a lab? Do Resident Evil 4 have a lab? Alright, run. Run, 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 run. Bam, I'm in, I'm in. Okay. I don't think I ever did a piazza piano puzzle. Where is it? Is it at the end, before you go into the core? Fuck, they all have labs. It's kind of a just a trope that it has to adhere to at this point. Well, you're usually a couple of hours away from finishing it if you get to the lab. I'm shocked at how large this area is, actually. I thought you'd just breeze through it. It opens up a door. That changes everything. All right, next time I play through, you'll have to point it out to me. Do I get another magnum bullet? Oh, this time it has eight bullets. Last time it only had one bullet. Wow, I'm getting a lot of these bottles. And the battery! Yes! Wow, you made that connection, X. Awesome. Yeah, they're certainly trying to force the character of Billy onto us. It, there was a cutscene yesterday, Goldie, where he explained why he killed the people he did and that kind of stuff, and he made it sound as though it wasn't his fault. So they're trying to turn him into a good guy who has more depth to him than... Okay. Because you're meant to think he's just a psychotic killer, right? And now you're seeing, oh, he can play piano. And he's actually been a good guy and helping us. And so, I mean, that's okay. That's decent character progression. And I mean, he's not progressing. It's just revealing more of his character. <laughs> I think you were begging the question, X. I actually think I should continue solo from this point. Yeah, I should continue solo. I'm more likely to lose a lot of health if she's with me. Alright, let's go. I can't remember. Was Captain Hook a bad guy or was he just a tragic figure? Maybe I should use the battery first before I continue any further. I think I might do that. I'll, I'll go use the battery. Oh, but she has the battery. Shit. <laughs> I 
Yo, 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 I need to get the battery. Oh, these things are tense. They're odd, really oddly designed, and I guess they're meant to replace like liquors and hunters and stuff like that, but. Alright, give me the battery. Alright, I'll do the battery puzzle and then I'll continue. It's not a puzzle, but you know. Quest. Call it a quest. So you know a little bit about uh, Resident Evil. Or was. Ah, oh, damn, you got me. Oh, wait, Chris was actually in Resident Evil 4, was he? I can't remember. Who was the main character in Resident Evil 4? It's been so long since I played it. <laughs> ah, Leon Kennedy, that's right. Yeah, Resident Evil 5 was pretty bad. It was it was decent fun co-op, but Yeah, there are probably people out there who never played a Resident Evil before 4. They just played 4, 5, and 6 and think that's what Resident Evil is. <laughs> Yo, Dub Squad, what's up? You missed my stream? Aww. You can always catch my VODs. Oh, oh so this allows me to go down. Oh, there's going to be a whole quest. I was previous, previously unaware to. How was school? Yes, I've been suplexed the train. Who suplexes the boulders? I forget. Is it actually um, Undyne? What did that actually do? Oh, now I need to click on it. Okay. Oh, I got me a box. How do I use this box? I can climb up it. I'm going to click on this photo axe. I want to see what it is. <laughs> Do any of you guys play FF6? I know you have an axe. Oh, I can just step on the other side. Cool. Well, what am I doing with this box? Is there some kind of puzzle for me to solve with it? You totally have? I feel like maybe you have not, Goldie. I feel like you're lying to me now. That's what I feel like. Asmo was here, he said his stream was total shit. Yeah. Yeah, something about sharks. Alright, so maybe the box... What can we use the box for? Hey! There's something up there. There's something on top of that. Can I use the box to get on top of that? There's something shiny. See how there's something shining on top of that? Oh, that's, that's one of the stone tablets. Okay. Cool. Oh, I need the second person to come and get it. Shit. What do I? But I want to know what's up here. So I need the second person to come and 
operate this. Okay. She's just standing there, just waiting. When is that big, strong man going to come back and help me? <laughs> oh, I walked into him. I'm not happy with this guy. I remember the first time I was attacked by a drop bear. And because you need to learn how to deal with them, your parents just let you. They just let you deal with the drop bear. At least the, the level of fatalities has gone down in recent years, so that's pretty good. It's kind of like that, that famous video of Steve Owen when he um, took his baby into the crocodile pen and sort of danced around with it because she needs to get used to the crocodiles. It's basically what the rest of Australia is like with the drop bears. Did Derp Squad come in, say, thank goodness you're on Miss the Stream Bin at school, and then just disappear? Savages, yeah. But, uh, you know, it's there's a kind of beauty in this, in that savagery, you know? You don't find it in that in the modern, sophisticated, tissue wrap society. Oh, so it really just leads back to here. Okay, so that was kind of pointless. So what good is there me being up here and her being down there? Does it actually serve no purpose? Yeah, apparently. Okay, so I think the only purpose was to get that box. Unless there's something up here that I can use the box to stand on and get. So I have two tablets. I know where the third tablet is, but I need a vice handle to get it. Hold on a second. I'm going to have to check. The walkthrough I was looking at just says to be continued, and then it doesn't appear to continue. Uh, it, it never finished the walkthrough. One second, guys. I know you guys do. I'm totally lost. That's the only reason I'm doing it. Well, I'm actually. There's actually three more areas for me to get through. Alright, sorry, 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 sorry. I just I have no idea how to get this tablet. I don't have a vice handle. So this is telling me I need to use a vice handle to get the tablet, but I don't have a vice handle. I'm gonna need to search now. Sorry guys for the...
return what's lab. Yeah, but this isn't a great game, so why would this sell you on how great Resident Evil is? It can show you some of the great things about it, but Resident Evil Remake is the game that will show you, sell you on how great Resident Evil is, but honestly, that one's way better than the rest of them. Yes, but I feel like I missed... I don't know what you just linked then, Goldie. Should I be watching that? Um, no, i got to do a search. Split the team up and take Rebecca through the model. Okay, you'll enter the hall, but proceed for the time being taken immediately to the right door next to you. You'll enter a small store, and, and it has only one interest. Oh, okay, so there is something in that room. Okay, so I was totally wrong. You remember the, the room with the surveillance that I thought there was nothing in there? Well, there's something in there, and it's very crucial, so... Okay, well now I can complete the game. Well, at least this section of the game. Ah, oh, but do I have enough room in my inventory? Yeah, I think I do. Oh, maybe I don't. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Hey, I'm gonna have to leave. When I leave this area, I'm gonna have to leave a ton of stuff just sitting on the floor that I can't carry with me. That's bullshit. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I have two slabs. I'm contemplating now... Okay, actually, yeah, I'll just go use the slabs. I won't go backwards. Yeah, I have two slabs, and I need to get the third slab. I know where they are, and I know how to get it. But I'm going to take some damage while I do it. So before I do that, I'm going to return these two slabs. And then I'm going to go get the third slab. And then, oh, it's going to be really frustrating to leave behind all this shit. What am I? Oh, I'm in the totally wrong area! Oh. Frustrating. Imagine this will be the largest area of the game, X. I, I think the last three areas will just necessarily be much smaller than this one. Alright, so... Oh, both of my characters are in yellow. Sheep. Okay, where is my magnum bullet? So you guys are going to have to sit through me sorting through all my inventory. One magnum bullet right here. Yeah, so how is it actually going to handle me having all this excess stuff sitting on the ground? I guess I just I actually will sacrifice it and just leave it all behind. Now that I'm back in the room, I don't even think I need to. I don't even have a magnum yet. I love how Dope Squad just came in, said thank god this thank god you're you're on, and then just left. Or at least stopped interacting. Maybe he's still watching. here, I think I don't need to drop the slabs in. I think I can just go. Six spots should be enough. What you mean? You mean in the game, where am I? It's a train. It's an umbrella training facility. Is that, is that the information you are asking about, Goldie?
yeah, it's not that enjoyable because it's not that recognizable. Like training facility, great. What does that mean? Whereas, say, Resident Evil One and Resident Evil Two, it was in a mansion. Cool, we can recognize a mansion. We know what they're supposed to look like. Uh, Resident Evil Two police station. Hey, Goldie, you changed colors. But this kind of just looks like a mansion. I don't know. Like one of the complaints about Res uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 was that it took you from familiar looking environments to say a warehouse in Metal Gear Solid 1, like warehouse looking environments, but it was a real world environment. Uh, say a tanker in, at the start of Metal Gear Solid 2 and then suddenly put you on this totally anonymous looking big shell. Oh. Suits you better, Goldie. Alright. I made it through. Whoa, what's happening? I think that leech creature was just molesting Billy. Really? Holy shit. Then I have a lot more to play. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll leave Rebecca. Oh shit, I ran past the room I was meant to go into. Oh man. This is going to be tough, actually. There's a good chance I die now. If I die, I'm just going to stop the stream. It's almost 6 o'clock anyway, so I need to stop soon. Ah, oh, I thought I left Rebecca behind. Oh, I fucked up so hardcore. I fucked up a lot. I really fucked up. I really fucked up. I fucked up. Alright, there's something on... Quick. Oh, there it is. Alright, All right, I got it. I got it. Now I gotta get the hell out of here before he kills all of us. Alright. <sighs> hey, I'll still fit in Undertale. Alright, get the hell out of here. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Please don't die. Oh. Oh. <sighs> I really do not want to die. I just want to get to the next area and save it. Alright, please, I don't want to die. Oh, he still can take another hit, I think. Oh, I don't have the vice. This dual inventory thing is kind of shit. And you know what? I once again didn't leave Billy behind. Yeah, I think the dual inventory system is a net negative, I think, for this game. I've decided. It's really just too cumbersome. It could just be because I'm absent-minded. I'm naturally absent-minded, plus I'm also chatting on stream and thinking about all kinds of other stuff. But it's just too many times you've, you've got to stop and go solo, stop, and transfer this. Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do that. You've lost health. It's so I finally agree with you, Axe. Alright, so now I have everything I need here. So I'm going to take her and go to this last room. Okay, so this time I'm definitely going to leave him here, okay? I ain't leaving this room until I left him here. Ugh, pressing the wrong buttons. 
right. And I'm going to do this, then I'm going to save it before I put the tablets in, and then I'm going to have to stop because I've got to get ready to go out. I forgot what's in this room, if there's any enemies or not. I don't think so. <sighs> First aid spray. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> A lot of the boxes are off. Like, I'm looking at the freaking pistol ammunition here and it's not clicking and sometimes I shoot at things and it doesn't hit them. I'm all for having some sort of cumbersome controls for me to battle against, that's fine. But yeah, these seem like glitches to me almost. Okay, so Now I need to get both of my characters back, safe and alive, and save the game. And then I can finally exit the training facility, and then I should be a, should be halfway. That should be the halfway point. Oh, what is it doing there? Oh, I shouldn't have done this. I absolutely should not have done this. I think I fucked up. That thing wasn't there before. Oh, it's stressful. It's really stressful. Oh, just, just fuck you. Just I'm leaving. Goodbye, Rebecca. You will be missed. Oh, she has all the tablets. No, I added the tablets. I can progress without her. Oh. All right. So what are we looking at for health here? All right. He's definitely gonna have to have the first aid spray. Oh. You know, I can actually just progress the game from now. Should I do it? Oh, I'm going to go save. I'm going to go save, and then we'll save the progression for the next stream. Probably tomorrow afternoon, if, if you guys are around. Because I have a party to go to tomorrow night. So I'm going to be pretty drunk. Now, what can I leave on the floor here? I think he should just have the first aid spray now. No, I'll, I'll save and then I'll, I can heal after if I choose to. You want me to stream drunk? I don't know. Let's, we'll see how the party goes. I'll come home and I'll chat to these guys when I'm drunk. But, no, if I get drunk and stream, it could just be an unmitigated disaster. I'm not saying it definitely will be, but it's entirely possible. Oh, the ink ribbons are all outside. Fucking hell. Yeah, I'm really growing tired of the inventory system. Like, the, the box. The box was simple and it worked great. I know they're trying to innovate, or they're trying, like, some, maybe some people complain that the box is immersion breaking or something like that, but the box was just a simple concept and it worked perfectly within the Resident Evil universe and they should have left it intact I think, but then they'd have to completely change this game so I don't know this inventory system definitely doesn't work as well as the Resident Evil remake I guess it's an interesting way of limiting your resources. I honestly can't remember it. But as far as the traditional Resident Evil games go, with just you put everything in the box, that was fine. And having a limited amount of items that you could carry at any one time, that worked perfectly. 
but this, like, I could see how some people would find it cumbersome, but this seems to be too cumbersome. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the stream here. Because I just had a jog before I streamed and I desperately need to shower and then get ready to go out for dinner. But that was fun and thanks a lot for joining me. Thanks for keeping me company. And maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow or I'll see you guys next time. And I'll definitely try and catch your stream on Sunday morning, my time, Goldie. But hopefully I'll see you tomorrow or the night after before then. Tonight? Probably not. We'll see. I'll let you know, alright? Oh, how can I let you know? I'll, I'll, I'll say probably not at this point, but it's it's possible. Um, it's not definite. If, if I do, if I am home in time, if we don't go out for drinks or something after dinner, then, then I'll definitely stream. Otherwise, yeah, maybe tomorrow. Alright guys, I'm going to hit the stop button. Uh, thanks for stopping in. I'll talk to you guys next time.